ever since the Commission has decided that member states shall not be attacked through economic coercion by adversaries, we in the European Parliament have been trying to do everything to make our deterrence credible. It has also been direct response to Chinese threats and coercion to Lithuania, a member state, when they dared to call their Taiwanese embassy Taiwanese. Yet, when the negotiations reach, reached uh, the trilogues, the Council, representing the member states, made it clear that they don't want the instrument at all. So what we are today celebrating is a watered down, gutted piece of legislation, which was done by the member states, that wanted to protect the member states from very real and very present coercion. It is a new legislation, and thus it is a success, because it presents some sort of new deterrence, deadlines for a response, and retaliatory countermeasures, and I appreciate it, truly. However, what I don't appreciate is the message uh, that one of the three EU institutions is sending towards its citizens, and well, as well as third countries, that they might prefer business as usual, rather than protection of their values, if they deem it more beneficial. I just warn you, dear Member States, after your values come your institutions, and after that, your source of power. Try to think ahead and protect it before it is, it is too late. Thank you.